These supplies will etch copper, brass, and bronze. In our project, we're using 18 gauge copper. We'll be using printed circuit board etchant, PCB, also known as ferric chloride, an abrasive, container with a lid, styrofoam, packing tape, a resist, a fish motor, and gloves and goggles. The first step towards a successful etch is proper metal prep. It is necessary to give our resist a clean surface to adhere to, and the acid is most effective and consistent on a clean surface. You can use an abrasive and or sandpaper to clean your metal. When water no longer beads on the surface, your piece is ready for step two. A resist is anything that keeps acid from reaching our metal. The acid eats away at the bare metal, leaving the resist areas raised. There are several resist methods to use. For our project, I'm using a paint pen to draw my design. You may decide to seal the edges and protect the back with packing tape, electrical tape, or another type of resist. The effect of the acid on the bare metal leaves a very subtle organic texture. Personally, I like the effect. Time for gloves and goggles. Pour enough printed circuit board etchant into your container so that your item will float in the mordant solution. I have attached a piece of styrofoam to help the piece float in the solution. The fish motor helps circulate the solution around, removing etched material, revealing fresh metal to etch. Mordant solutions are reusable. When you find that they are no longer effective, please dispose of responsibly. I neutralize my old solutions with baking soda. Check your piece periodically to see the rate of the etch. A good starting point is about 20 minutes in. When you're satisfied with the depth or cut of your etch, remove your piece from the solution, rinse it under water, and start to remove any packing tape if you've decided to seal the edges. Let's use an abrasive to remove the remaining resist off of our piece. Your etched piece is now ready to use, form, and create whatever you can imagine. Christy finished her cuff with a hand-stamped message, a riveted butterfly, and a lovely antique patina. Thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this video on acid etching. Send us your feedback and let us know what you'd like to learn next. This video was filmed at Atlanta Artworks Jewelry Metal Arts Studio, Atlanta's original working studio experience. For more information on classes and workshops, please visit us online at www.atlantaartworks.com or find us on Facebook. And to learn more about Dana Ruth Designs, please visit us online at www.danaruth.com or find us on Facebook.